The Rainbow Futurity Preview on StallionEsearch.com is brought to you by The Sire. Eagles Fly Higher, standing at Royal Vista Ranch in Wayne, Oklahoma. And hello again, everyone. I'm Greg Thompson of StallionEsearch.com. Up here on the mountain, it's Rainbow Futurity Weekend. We're going to start looking at some of these previews here. And if you've been paying attention at all with anything that's been happening in Riendoso, the fact that we're running this weekend is nothing short of a miracle. Hats off to everybody here in Riendoso putting this racetrack back together to have this big grade one event. Let's look at the top 10 qualifiers divided by days. Let's look at the top five from day one as well as the top five from day two. Looking at the fastest qualifiers from day one, the top two qualifiers come out of the same race. Favorite Fire V, trained by Heath Taylor and will be ridden by James Flores in the finals, as well as Ohana Spirit, trained by John Steinbo and ridden by Ali Rivera. They're running. Early speed at the rail for Ohana Spirit, the debut runner. Right with that one now, BR Secret, Grandstand side, favorite, Fire V. These three battle away. Then we have Tourist Fortis and going to double up. It's favorite, Fire V, and Ohana Spirit. These two will hit the wire well spread apart with the middle of the track in between them. Outside, favorite, Fire V, rail, Ohana Spirit. The third fastest qualifier from day one, Aguilla Rapida, is trained by Toby Keaton and will be ridden in the finals by Ricky Ramirez. Had some traffic trouble right behind Aguila Rapida. Luckily, he got a fast break and avoided it all. Aguila Rapida being chased by Julia Bell. Then, uh, let's see, we go back to Bougie Boy and then followed up by first required Aguila Rapida. Lucky to get out of the gate clear of the trouble behind him. The fourth fastest qualifier from day one is Little Vaquero, trained by Xavier Rodriguez and ridden in the finals by Noe Garcia Jr. There, running. Good break for Monticello in the middle, also for Little Vaquero, and watch me now, watch me, and trying to join them, Queen of Heart and Sky's the limit, a wide open fray, Little Vaquero now is trying to edge away, and Little Vaquero suddenly rockets away, Little Vaquero just took command and pulled away, Dow's trying to get into second, and Will, and then we have a photo of Sky's the limit, and Queen of Heart. And the fifth fastest qualifier, Space Cowboy, is trained by Juventino Ruiz, and will be ridden by Adrian Ramos in the finals. There, Ronnie. Space Cowboy broke okay but floated out. Pirata Jess sharp in the middle. Pirata Jess, a political revenant. Space Cowboy gets rolling, straightens up grandstand side. Then we have in Compass and Woke Mob at the rail. And here comes Space Cowboy. Space Cowboy takes the lead and pulls away with every stride. Space Cowboy made it look easy. Then a political revenant and racy favorite. We'll return right after these moments from our sponsor to see day two qualifiers going into the Rainbow Futurity. Standing in Wayne, Oklahoma at Royal Vista Ranch is a sire sure to be the next big thing in the sire ranks. The grade one winning Eagles Fly Hire. The son of one famous eagle, his first crop of runners are yearlings of this year in 2024. And Eagles Fly Hire is destined for greatness in the sire ranks, just like he accomplished on the racetrack. With two wins in the prestigious grade two East Tech stakes at Remington Park, as well as a gutsy win in the grade one Sooner State stakes. This earner of over $623,000 in his career, was victorious in two other grade two events, and was a near miss in winning the grade one $1 million Texas Classic Futurity to leading industry sire flying cowboy one, two, three. Buyers of yearlings this year, be ready, as an Eagles Fly Hire yearling will be a hot commodity this sales season. And be sure to book your mares to this great one winning son of one famous eagle, standing at Royal Vista Ranch in Wayne, Oklahoma. Eagles Fly Hire. And we're back and looking at day two qualifiers and the fastest qualifier from day two, as well as the fastest overall qualifier, comes from the barn of Xavier Rodriguez and FDD Dreams, which was ridden by Luis Martinez. They're running an even break. Fast for a major wildfire, along with Tempting Mr. Extreme Outside FDD Dreams in Yellow Cap BV Mr. D at the rail El Capo Mascopi. And FDD Dreams has taken command, and FDD Dreams is trying to qualify, running as fast as he can, and winning by two and a half, maybe three lengths from Tempting Mr. 
The second fastest qualifier from the second day of qualifying happens to be the Rio Dosa Futurity winner. He's got the look Z, trained by Toby Keaton and written by Brian Cannonosa. They're running. He's got the look Z straight as an arrow and already almost, what, a length and a half clear. In second, BF Fly Rages. And then we have Favorite Sandbag and Dash for Power. He's got the look Z widening. He's got the look Z. It's just a matter of distance and time now. He's got the look Z from BF Fly Rages. Then Favorite Sandbag and Dash for Power. The third and fourth fastest qualifiers coming out of day two of qualifying is Candy Going Viral out of the barn of Ricardo Armendaris and ridden by Jacob Enriquez, as well as Just Dolce from the barn of Mark Youngers and ridden by Christian Ramos. There, righty. And getting away well, Candy Going Viral. Candy Going Viral, Express Lane right alongside Bullet Train V, just brushed with that one. And then Extreme Outside, a dream fulfilled. Candy Going Viral, Bullet Train V. And here comes Just Dolce Surgeon going after Candy Going Viral. Candy Going Viral looks to hold on. Candy Going Viral, I think, held on from a charge from Just Dolce. And the fifth fastest qualifier coming from the barn of Heath Taylor, who's qualified too is highly regarded V and will be ridden by Francisco Calderon in the finals. They're running. And Razor Sharp wanted to get going, came out fast. So too, highly regarded V, far side. Between the orange cap, dash on Willie to the inside and in blue cap, is show and tell cartel. And highly regarded V is rocketing away. Razor Sharp is now battling with dash on Willie for second. And highly regarded V wins by about two and a half. Standing in Wayne, Oklahoma at Royal Vista Ranch is a sire sure to be the next big thing in the sire ranks, the grade one winning Eagles Fly Hire, the son of one famous eagle, His first crop of runners are yearlings of this year in 2024. An Eagles Fly Hire is destined for greatness in the sire ranks, just like he accomplished on the racetrack, with two wins in the prestigious grade two East Tech Stakes at Remington Park, as well as a gutsy win in the grade one Sooner State Stakes. This earner of over $623,000 in his career, was victorious in two other grade two events, and was a near miss in winning the grade one $1 million Texas Classic Futurity to leading industry sire Flying Cowboy 123. Buyers of yearlings this year, be ready, as an Eagles Fly Hire yearling will be a hot commodity this sales season. And be sure to book your mares to this grade one winning son of one famous eagle, standing at Royal Vista Ranch in Wayne, Oklahoma, Eagles Fly Hire.